we were playing harder. Um, you know, defensively, when we play hard, we do good things. When we when we kind of take some plays off and we get a little lax, that's when teams score on us. So, you know, we did a, a good job of not only playing harder, but we were team rebounding during that time. And, and, you know, in that last 10 minutes of the game, our goal is that you're too tired because we've been running it up and down the whole time, whether we're scoring in transition or not, that now legs are tired. It's harder for guys to, to hit shots on, on offense, which is what happened in the second half. You know, they held... They shot 34% in the second half after shooting 53 in the first. So, you know, I think fatigue, effort on our part, and uh, team rebounding were the key to that last stretch right there. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, when you make when you go 10 to 12 and you win by 12 points, those 10 points are huge. And he'll tell you it was it was fear of running for missing free throws after an embarrassing 9 to 25 on Saturday. And what were we on Friday? It wasn't any better on Friday. It was like 2 to 12, I think. Um, you know, so free throws definitely made a huge, huge difference in tonight's game. And it just gives our guys confidence. When you go to the line and you're making two and you're getting points and they got to foul you, good things are happening. My coach come, told me, like, just shoot with confidence. I'm a shooter. That's my job. So, I mean, if I see it, I'm in rhythm. I'm going to fire that up. Uh, especially, like, if they go under screens and my big guy buries him, He's helping me out. That's an assist that doesn't go on the paper, but I mean, it's a big help from the bigs too. So, well, uh, Evan and Evan and Mateo have been doing really well. Smith did great for his first 14 minutes. I mean, we haven't we haven't had Isaiah uh, as part of our sophomore trio really until tonight. And to be honest, I didn't know how much we were going to have him. And if he could finish a dang layup, uh, he'd have been six for six. So, um, you know, I'm I'm happy with where he is. But Evan Evan and Evan and Mateo. Uh, are showing that maturity that they developed with the minutes that they got last year. Um, you know, and they need to because with, with Ryan Nitz getting hurt, um, you know, we're down to three guards and they're three really good ones, you know, with, with Alex thrown in the mix, um, you know, our, our three wings can make things happen. And they're going to have to play well for us. Plain and simple, this is a, this is a guard-driven league, as you saw last year with San Bernardino having the two best guards and San Diego with James McCann beating a lot of teams. Um, you know, those the, our sophomore class uh, is really kind of the, the backbone right now um, for what we got going. Not to take anything away from anybody else, but, uh, but having these three in year two and having them for two more years is, is going to be huge for us. You know, I told Pat, I, I don't really worry about you scoring. I want you passing the ball. And, and I think he, in the last three games, is probably 12 or 13 assists to three or four turnovers. So... If he can continue to do that, this guy's going to get a lot of good looks. Alex is going to get good looks. Our, our whole team uh, is is really benefiting right now from how Pat is playing. Um, and he doesn't even have to score. He's trying to score a little bit too much, I think, and I'm just trying to dial him back. Hey, you don't need to associate success for us and for yourself with scoring. You continue to have an outstanding you know, almost he's almost three or four to one right now, assist to turnover ratio. And if that continues, we're going to be a lot of people, and, and it's going to have a lot to do with him on the offensive end. And then defensively, he's done a great job. He was kind of the wild card coming in. We weren't sure how good he was defensively, and he's really done a good job of containing guys. I mean, it's a good uh, energizer for us, um, especially like uh, maybe if they go on a run or something. It's good to have that backbone of another group of energy, not just our bench. So, I mean, it's really helpful. and uh, yeah, It's great to get to play in front of the home crowd. It, it really is. It's, it's fun to go on the road and, and quiet crowds down, but it's really nice to have a, a large group cheering for you. And I, and I love our Lakers crowd. You know, they come rolling in about 10 minutes in. You know, you look around, it's like, man, nobody's coming tonight. And then, you know, we get to the first media timeout, and I, I've paid zero attention to the crowd, and I turn around and look, and all of a sudden it's noisy, and there's people everywhere. And, and, and it's awesome. As long as they keep coming and get here before halftime, it's great. So keep coming. But, uh, no, it's, you know, that's what makes college basketball fun, you know, is, is the youthful enthusiasm uh, that fills the stands from, from our students. And then, you know, we've done a good job with getting local community out here. And, and hopefully as we continue to win games, we'll start packing this place out here.